Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So guys, I am here to do a random collective reading, right? This reading is for the collective, so it's not going to be for all of you. So please just take what does resonate and toss what doesn't, okay? Um, don't try to squish it into your world, right? And thank you to everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything across the board. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for showing the love and uh, helping to support the channel, okay? All right, so guys, um, I'm going to give it one more shuffle, and I'm just going to pull a few from the bottom, okay? And cut the deck. All right, let's see what we got for the energy today. Trust, hunger, hmm, and boundaries. All right. I feel like um, somebody, <laughs> hunger, right? Uh, yeah, uh, during this full moon phase, um, I feel like somebody just hungers for you. They long for you. They want you. Um, they may want to try to call out to you. They may already be trying to contact you, and you may not, you know, you may have them blocked. Um, this could be energetically, though, I feel they, you know, it's a hunger at this point. It is a hunger at this point. I, that's what I should name this. Um, but I feel like you don't know if you can trust this person. I, the way it's looking to me here, you know, um, yeah, you're not sure who you can trust, I feel. And I feel like you just have this protective shell around you right now, you know? And the divine, I think, is protecting you as well. I, I think you and the divine both, you and spirit both, are protecting you, <laughs> right? With your boundaries. See that bubble? There you are. You've got these strong boundaries, and um, nothing else, nothing can penetrate them, you know? Um... But somebody is very, very hungry for you here. I feel like this is somebody you feel you can't trust. So you've, you've, um, you've gotten these impenetrable boundaries set up for you. Um, I feel like this is, you know, that you're kind of used to it. I feel like you've been protecting yourself this, through this whole entire journey because you, you were um, heartbroken. And I feel like the divine has had your back this whole time, right? Kind of keeping you, keeping you in this protective shell. Yeah. I think you don't, you don't really trust this person that's hungry for, they're literally hungry for you. <laughs> you know, longing is kind of what I'm feeling like. Um energetically calling out for you perhaps you can feel this i feel but you um you're letting it bounce off of your protective shell your bubble yeah this person may reach out to you and you may just even ignore their their message or phone call here letting it bounce away yeah letting letting something end here so that energy can be transformed into um, uh, happiness for you. This is the happy, happy card, right? No other, this is like the best card in the deck. I, I feel like that's what you're doing, letting something come to an end. Yeah. Um, your person could feel very betrayed at this point because they really are, it's not just thirsty, they're hungry now. Um but this is, this is coming to an end. All the betrayal, the stabbing in the back, all of it, it's coming to an end. This is, these are the things that made you not trust this person, made you put up these impenetrable boundaries, okay? Um, and I think your person is realizing that it's come to a completion here with the death card. This is like also um, one of those aha moments the light has been shed in this very dark situation and your person they can feel you um, protecting yourself here at this point and um, it's making them very sad They're, this is a lot of pain very painful ending with the death card here you could be dealing with the scorpio a leo
got conflict out here. What's this all about? That comes underneath the trust issue. There's major betrayal, I think, in this situation that and it was it was bad. And I feel like um you can't trust this person. You know, uh, this can also be competition. This person, maybe they're in a lot of pain right now because there could be some competition coming in to make you an offer. You've got a, a, a couple knights out here and an emperor coming in to make you an offer, possibly three people. You've got a Knight of Pentacles and a Knight of Wands, okay? So I feel like um, I feel like there's an offer that's been slow moving. This one is a, it, the Knight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles offer is usually pretty good. It stabilizes things. It's a good solid offer from someone who may be a bit uh, guarded. Um, but I also am seeing a player out here. Um yeah, so I feel like you're being approached by at least two other people. This emperor could be, yeah, I feel like two, maybe three people. One of them could be an emperor, um, someone who's not going to put up with any crap either. Um, and it's making your person, this person from the past that's hungry for you, boy, are they in a lot of regret. Because they can feel other energies approaching you here. And with the emperor here, I'm kind of getting the feeling like they may know one of them. But, um, yeah, you've got two knights and an emperor here. I feel like that's the competition that this person's dealing with. You've got other suitors. Um, clarify this emperor. You know, they may want to block the other suitors here with the emperor energy. This is somebody who's coming in to make an offer. They may want, with the emperor energy, this person may want to block these other suitors and make this offer. Okay. Clarify the four of pentacles. Yeah, so like... Um, if you're dating, I would keep it on the down low if you start a relationship, seriously, because um, we've been picking up in tarot readings. Sorry, that was just too many. We've been picking up in tarot readings that, jeez, um, they just keep popping out. This person could be with the Queen of Swords energy, though, um, that they want to sabotage. They want to sabotage new beginnings. Somebody does. Yeah, I feel like this emperor wants to block any new suitors here, but yet at the same time, they could be dealing with um, a, queen, a very cold queen of wands. What's on the bottom of this stack? Who's uh, sleeping alone, uh, about to lose this person. They're, they're more focused on you than they are in their own relationship. I feel like they're together possible air sign here um, this person could be a Taurus but this Queen of Swords they can't sleep at night this is keeping them up at night because they know that this person is jealous they know they don't want they they hunger for you they know this this Queen of Swords Yeah, and they're up all night. Yeah, because your person is freaking doing nothing but thinking about you. Thinking about you. Thinking about you. Thinking about you as you leave. As you leave the scene and pull your energy back. Protecting yourself with those intense boundaries, right? Yeah, this Queen of Swords knows it, you know. Um, very intelligent person can be very tricky, very harsh with their communication. Um, this one wants to come out, yeah, because they know your person wants to take action, come towards you. You may hear something about this. This can be like, I kind of see it as gossip a little bit, word of mouth. They may even send someone younger in to talk to you. This is up, flipped upside down in the deck. I've got 
heartache and betrayal here in a third party situation in a home situation with this queen of swords someone younger can come may come in and and tell you about this there's a lot of heartache and betrayal here third party situations because your person can't stop thinking about you they can't stop thinking about you and they don't want anyone else they they're gonna they're gonna try to fight off the competition here they're gonna try to fight off the competition and block it that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting yeah and so this queen of swords that they're with in this home situation here, they know. They know that your person is, they hunger for you, okay? They know. Yeah, you may hear something about this. You know, it could be from this queen of wands or queen of swords coming in with very immature communication. This could be an impulsive move that they don't think about showing up at your door here to have a conversation with you face to face yeah when honestly you've got this protective bubble around you you're trying to get keep everything out and i feel like they may come to your home for a face to face conversation with you here wanting to take action I feel like you should keep your moves hidden at this time. This is also something that they could be planning to do behind the scenes. They could have started um, working on this plan, thinking about this over the last moon phase. You could be a Cancer, Pisces. This Queen of Swords could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Very immature communication, though, and an impulsive move. I think coming towards you, they're going to show up at your house. They want to have a uh, they want to have a face to face conversation with you. I feel like this Queen of Swords is going to take action, and really, you can't stop the thoughts in in this person's head, right? It's only because your person can't stop thinking about you, but you're you're protecting yourself. You've got boundaries because you don't you already don't trust this person. It's such a mess, is it not? Feel like your person is being defensive here. And I feel like they're being defensive in this home against the Queen of Wands. Or this could be you when they show up at your door. They may have a lot to say. And I feel like you're gonna stand your ground. Stand your ground, person watching. Yeah, I feel that like that could be you. You don't see this coming. You could be um, a Queen of Cups. You could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Very loving individual. Very loving who was put in a third party situation. Now you've protected, you're protecting yourself and now here comes this, this Queen of Swords wanting to have a conversation with you. Um, you're very loving, very nurturing, very giving. I feel like you're being very quiet in this in this whole during this whole situation. You started out being quiet. It's your person who's howling at the moon. Okay, they they have a hunger for you. I feel like I feel like your person knows that this Queen of Swords is coming in. I feel like they know all of the ways that they treated you. I feel like they've been doing a lot of thinking on that as they carry these burdens through this whole entire journey. And now they've corralled themselves in. This person hungers for you, but now, now because of, the, because of their behavior and decisions, a, a Queen of Swords is coming to, to talk to you about this mess. And you're just being loving and protecting yourself. That's it. So I feel like this person feels like they have no other choice now but to confront this. No other choice. It's all coming to a head, I feel. 
They have no other choice but to confront this. Yeah. We've got the Ten of Pentacles here. I feel like you are you are this. You're in this. Uh, I feel like this is your energy person watching. Queen of Pentacles energy. Um, very, very well off because you've been paying attention to your own stuff. Um, someone's very pat. Yeah, that's you. You are the Empress in the Minor Arcana here with all of these pentacles. I feel like your person, you are their wish fulfillment. Not only are you abundant, not only are you independent and you can take care of yourself, but you're, you're an Empress. You've transformed. You're intuitive. You're every queen in the deck. You're extremely abundant. Um, definitely worthy more than worthy of a commitment and and to be treated in a decent way all right and this person they blocked their own wish fulfillment here because they, they all they wanted was passion i feel like this person had player energy um but they're also very passionate about you so i feel like um they just they blocked their wish fulfillment man and they can't forget about you they can't stop thinking about you they hunger for you yeah they they basically this is them sabotaging their own wish fulfillment and now missing it missing that opportunity because it just went on for far too long and now there's a queen of swords coming to your door to have a conversation here this person needs to confront they need to confront because there's a queen of swords coming to an empress to talk face to face. They're going to have to confront this and they're going to have to take their whooping. Right? Yeah. Let's see what advice. Okay. Let's pull a few off of the Oracle deck. Resistance. This is you. Aha! This is you. Resistance to this masculine. Resist this masculine. They haven't gotten their act cleaned up yet. Not if there's a Queen of Swords coming to your door. They're still with someone in a home situation. Resist this masculine. Thank you. That's pretty clear. Yeah, resist the masculine. Wow. That came out pretty loud and clear. I feel like this person may, um, you know, they have two in this picture. Whoever they're committed to, this Queen of Swords, and you, because they can't stop thinking about their Empress, right? Um, but... If they come forward towards you now, they're not going to be able to stay or they're going to bring all of this circus mess to your doorstep, you know, with them. Um, and I feel like that means they're only seeking pleasure here. And I feel like that's what resists the masculine because they're only seeking pleasure. They do hunger for you. But in the Empress energy, um, I feel like there's several people who are hungering for you. Did I say that right? Hungering? <laughs> Is that even a word? I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. So resist this masculine because they're only they're only coming towards you for pleasure, because they're already in a home situation with someone else. Yeah, that's what I'm getting, guys. Anywho, um, I do hope this helps, and I hope it resonates with you. Um, if you like this video, please go ahead, click that like button, give me a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you like the vibe, right? And um, until next time, person watching, take care of you and peace out.